calling him they're scared. They said they might get fired and shit. Let's just do it anyway, yeah? Yeah, might as well. Strike's on, let's do it. And we get some placards out, some music up. Sorry to say you had to jump off the property. Sit here then. There we go. Stay here on the strike. You're asking for a You don't want to get paid $6 an hour. Ah, okay, we won't buy. Excellent. Okay. Thanks very much. Yeah. <laughs> get to move out of the car. 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 And what a picket line does is it stops all customers and all flow of profit from KFC for the next two hours. We're asking everybody to call Kentucky Fried Chicken to go and get fried today. This car right here just saw the picket line and he's the cook. So he's refused to go in and cook all the chicken now. Three, five, seven, nine. And across the picket line. I want a decent amount of money and secure hours. And as a cook, safety gear, there is the possibility of getting severely burned. It's just safety precautions would be good. It's just not on, so I'm out here. Let's strike. What do we want? 12 bucks an hour. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? 15 dollars an hour. Now. Do you work here or do you for the union. Oh, for the union. Well, we've just got to come and pack up with the manager and stuff. Okay. It's a new age of the best. You guys have every right to do this, but it's where you're doing it is the problem, okay? You're blocking people from coming in, you cannot do that. We're not obstructing anyone. No one here is. Right, well, okay, you can move that sign so people get through. Well, you guys need to move. People can come through the door. We have been leading people through. Three, five, seven, nine. Across the picket line. I think yeah. you have to be able to pay the rent and buy food and pay the doctor's bills. When we've spoken to people, they're actually supportive of us. Well, they probably are. The but at the end of the day, they've still got a business to run. Three, five, seven, nine. Across the picket line. Three, five, seven, nine. You can't stop the customers from going inside if they want to go inside. Have you guys heard that? What we're not doing is actively stopping vehicles to talk to them. Oh, you they're, they're, asking, they're, they're asking us. They're asking us. Look, they're, they're, they're right there. They're asking us what's going on. They don't know what you... Oh, it's a picket line, man. So they're asking people just to support them today and not buy KFC for the next few hours and have a lovely Valentine's Day somewhere. Cheers, okay. Cheers. Give us a hit. One big one? Yeah. That's the bully there, that's the one. He's the bully. The bully. The bully. The bully. The bully. This is the first time that any of them have ever had to do anything like this before. This picket line's still staunch and no one's gone past it. This will only give them more confidence. Secret recipe all across this nation. Bring up the exploitation. Strike! We're in negotiation with McDonald's Wednesday and Thursday. They've said they've got the best offer up. So, okay, so after Tuesday it's all on. We have a very good offer for McDonald's. Good <laughs> place side. There's two roads we're going to go down. We can do a short, sharp campaign and settle up. We have the 18th of March as our conclusion. You're up against huge multinationals. And if they know that that's the timeline that they can push us up against, then they could just say, OK, well, all we're going to do is batten down for a month. Then at the end of it, say, we're now withdrawing your offer. and Let's see how good you are. And then the workers say, I thought we we're going to get 12 bucks. And all you got is 75 cents. So I'm out of the union. Now, the other option, and this has got risk as well, it will be a long campaign. And it might go for a year and every day is a fight. And it's a long trench warfare fight with guerrilla actions. Continuously, we're not signing up until we get it, which require a whole community mobilization. And we just become entrenched. We want $12 and we're sitting there for nothing less. I feel like I've only just begun 
to tap into the potentials where I am. I couldn't support deciding to seal off in one month because I believe 90% of the resources out there will be untapped. I'm in the same boat as Kane and I'm just finding out what I can do with these areas and to settle up in a month with something that gives them really nothing, I don't think that would go down very well. If we line everything up, ready to go, Burger King, McDonald's, we can kick the living shit out of them. A lot of our members out there that are about to waver and pull out of the union, they've been waiting for so long for something to happen. Exactly as Joe said, been sitting there waiting. They'd be no more happy if we can't deliver anything on that. So I think the solution would be a longer campaign. I think we should go on the offensive for the next six weeks. If we do this job right, companies will be keen to settle in March, or we'll be thinking, Shit, this is fun, we'll keep doing it for a year. <laughs> what holds all the different personalities in this show? You know, common cause. There's always somewhere else to go, there was always someone else to see, there's always someone else to, to help, and it's such a re rewarding and satisfying thing to do that, yeah, I don't have a social life anymore. It's just, yeah, you know, you tend to have to go out to do something. Probably about half of our crew come off the shop floor, and half come from other strands of political or social. Uh, movement or advocacy and I think that's a good mix. I fundamentally disagree with some of the people I work with ideologically but at the end of the day it's kind of irrelevant. I think it's great to have different viewpoints and different ideas. If everyone was thinking the same that wouldn't be good either would it? Unite our union We built this union If you want to know who runs it here we are Nobody's going to push us around, and these rich, rich people, it's time for a wake-up call, and they're going to get it. On Saturday, it's at the march, starting at 1pm, we're going to be doing the protest march. It's a day of action across all our stores. Nobody thought we were going to succeed. They thought it was a madcap enterprise. The accumulation of anger and frustration at the grassroots with low pay and corporate arrogance was about to create the conditions for a mass fight back from below. Your pitch today will be is recruiting and selling the union message to workers to unite themselves. And you know, the girls do like you, Richard. <laughs> I've got a bit over 50 sites and they're all fast food places. I like to get to each site. I aim for weekly, but it never happens. So fortnightly I aim to visit each site and I just sit down and see people how they're going, sort out any issues. Hi, um, my name's Ingrid, I'm from Unite Union. I was wondering if I could just catch up with a few guys while it's pretty quiet. This morning McDonald's called us and said that they want to meet with us this afternoon. So there's a McDonald's store just down the road from where the company negotiators are. So there'll be a protest at the store and then we'll go to hear what the negotiators have to say on behalf of McDonald's. My name's Daniel. We're from Unite Union. How long have you been working here? Since Monday. I'm from Unite. Just come up to catch up with your workers. Sort of There's hardly anybody. So common sense says to me, I should do it now. You can negotiate with the employer for a collective agreement. Are you interested in signing up? I'm interested in more pay, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> you need to find a keen person who stays there. That's a difficulty in fast food. Do you have full-time or part-time? It's all casual. It's all casual. I'd like to see this union being run by workers. Essentially, I want them to tell me what to do. On every level, we're seeking to involve people in an activist way and looking at creative ways of doing that. I've got one young girl at a pizza, she's 15, $6.89 per hour, and she organised a strike for herself. She's signed up people to the union. She's fantastic. All that they offered was a new minimum wage. They offered that to non-union members a couple of weeks early. Can they do that? That sounds pretty sad, well, just to stop, not pay union people, but pay other yeah. people. It seems quite sad. It is. It's, it's really sad. It's discrimination. We've just been up to the company negotiators. The company wanted to talk to us about a back down. McDonald's was going to start paying the new minimum wage. A government increase. Um, three weeks earlier to non-members and refusing to give that increase to members of Unite. We took our court case against them last week. We decided to take them to court, like to the Employment Relations Authority, for discriminating against union members. They wrote a letter, got it, got it just a few minutes before we went up, which was really saying, yes, we will now pay back. So all union members will be now backdated to the 6th of March. Yeah! That is the first back down that this company has had.